Adeen Usher has dedicated her life to helping students with physical disabilities. She also became an advocate for women's health after a routine mammogram told her everything was okay. The density of my breasts was masking the presence of not one, not two, but three tumors. After surgery to remove the breast, Dr. Joseph Sperano encouraged her to join a study he was leading to see which patients benefit from chemotherapy and which ones do not. Ten years ago, she clearly would have met every criteria for recommending chemotherapy. Uh, today, based on the trial results, she clearly doesn't need chemotherapy. The landmark study funded by the National Cancer Institute and some breast cancer foundations finds that most women with early stage breast cancer that has not spread and whose growth is fueled by hormones can skip chemotherapy without hurting their chances of survival. Patients still need surgery and hormone therapy, but the question is whether they also need chemo. We were able to identify that about 70 percent of patients who we would normally recommend chemotherapy to don't benefit from it, don't need it. Researchers use genetic testing to gauge each patient's risk of cancer recurrence. Those at high risk got chemo, those at low risk didn't. Women in the middle at intermediate risk got standard hormone therapy and half also got chemo. Nine years later, 94 percent in the intermediate risk group were still alive and chemo made no difference in the odds. It allows us to treat who really needs to be treated it thus re greatly reduces the amount of overtreatment. The study is expected to spare up to 70,000 patients a year in the United States the ordeal and expense of chemotherapy. Being able to say to a patient that truly there's no benefit for chemotherapy in your case based on a test of your cancer, that's a very powerful intervention. It allows everyone to feel very confident and reassured about the decisions they're making. Usher has been cancer-free for 10 years now. I was excited to have been in a study that is such an important study. Experts believe the results will have an immediate impact on breast cancer treatment for years to come. Kathy Young, Associated Press.